Hello! Today I'm going to give you a little tour of my Brody. So it's the bike I used when I cycled across Canada and I realized I've never really done a video on the bike and my thoughts about it and how I like it. So the Brody and I have spent many hours and many miles together and so it's the bike I'm most comfortable on by far. Um, it is not technically a touring bike. It doesn't have the long uh, wheelbase that um, typically makes up a touring bike, but it is still, it's, it is definitely suitable for touring and long distances. Um, so this is a beautiful bike. I tried to get into a sunny spot for you guys so that you can see the color because it looks kind of black generally, but it's actually a beautiful racing, British racing green. Um, so I'll start off with uh, the shifters. So it's um, N-bar shifters, they're Shimano N-bar shifters, and we decided to do that for a couple of reasons. It kept things simple should anything break. Um, nothing did break, so it was fine, and it kept the cost down. We had a lot of costs when we were uh, setting up to go, and um, there was a bike above this one that I really loved, um, but we decided to go with this one, and it's um, the Argus uh, 1.0, actually. So it's made by Brody, which is a Canadian company, and I don't believe you can get them in the UK, unfortunately, but for all you Canadians, hopefully you'll find this interesting. And if you're looking for a tour bike, you can find out what I liked and didn't like. So we have our brakes. The brakes are the Canadian way round, so um, the back one is that one. I'm very confused because one bike's one way I have and my British bike is the other way. So I just brake evenly all the time now. So yeah, um, we had fenders added to it. They didn't come with these fenders. They're SDK fenders for um, full size with the flaps on the bottom. Love that. Um, keeps everything dry, especially uh, on those really rainy days. I've got, as you may have seen the video I did on the relights, so that's a new addition to the bike. And yeah, they are disc brake. So that was very important um, criteria for us to have disc brakes. And as we knew, we'd be going down mountains with heavy bikes. So that was important. Here you can see the braze on. So we did have front racks. Uh, we had the four, four penniers when we went. And um, these, sorry, give you a better light. These water bottle cages, I really love them. I think they really look smart on the bike. They go really well because they're not quite silver. Um, they're not quite bronze, they're somewhere in between. really love those. I'll try to find the name of them for anyone who's interested. And so yeah, the gearing on the bike. So that's where I'll start. I'll see if I'm getting back. So there's three rings here. So it has some components that are mountain bikey. Um, and that's one of them. So three gears. And anyone who's thinking of touring long distance, 100% recommend getting three um, chain rings on the front. Oh my god, it is the reason I was able to pedal every single solitary kilometer across Canada. Um, that, that little chain ring saves me so many times. It made going uphill, you know, you would just sit down and spin and go and, you know, you'd get there. It just, you went slower. But that, I love having that third, third chain ring. Uh, now to my pedals. So I'll be doing a video on, or I'm actually by this point I've already done the video on pedals and how to choose pedals. So this pedal here is double-sided, which I love. I love not having to worry about is the pedal the right way up and looking down, uh, especially when I'm commuting in traffic. Um, so I love these. And these I got, these are the first pedals I ever got for clipping in. And I went with mountain bike um, clip-ins because of these pedals. They're called clicker and they have less resistance um, on when you unclick so they're easier to unclick and although I've sort of gotten over that I, d I do like this for commuting because they're easy to get in and out of and they're double-sided and because of the platform it gives me the ability to wear plain shoes like I am today and just ride my bike in normal clothes so I love these clicker pedals I love the mountain bike style shoe because it also allows me to walk around um, when I'm off my bike so 100% love that choice um, obviously they, they didn't come with the bike the pedals uh, I mean, up here is my little, my little sticker, so that I would personalize my bike, and yeah, and uh, this saddle here is um, Cozine, so I got this when I got back, it's not the one I used uh, going across Canada, which I used my Celatelier uh, Diva, I believe, I'll put a link below to everything, because um, I trusted that saddle, I traveled far on it, so I knew it would be comfortable, but this is the one I got um, when I put that saddle back on my road bike, and I got back here, so this is um, quite a stiff saddle, which I like, and my main thing is the cutout, because that's my numbness, is my problem, so... I do like that saddle, it's great for commuting, but when I do long distances, I swap my saddles around. And of course, the rack didn't come with the bike, and this is a Topeak rack. And it's what I actually owned before uh, I decided to cycle across Canada, and I was asking for recommendations, and this one was recommended first, so that was very um, 
very convenient so I just use that so it has many 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 miles on it this rack and it's it's still it's got some nicks in it and stuff but it's still sturdy still works well it's uh it's been well worth the money and again the fenders in the back full full fender on the back as well and we upgraded our tires and we bought the bike to Schwab Marathon now these are not the original tires I had to replace them a few months ago and they Marathon Plus were on sale and they're cheaper so I ended up with them but I quite happily just get the normal Marathon um, everyone says these are really hard to change and I had to change one on a commute <laughs> a few weeks ago and holy cow <laughs> I got so angry I was struggling with it for so long and the anger the anger is what finally got me uh, enough strength to get it on the rim but it is hard as people say um, so in the back here we have eight speeds and a long derailleur to accommodate uh, the ratios between the front and the back gearing so yeah it's just eight speed um, sorry nine speed oh, I thought I had an eight speed how about that sorry nine speed and that paint's worn off I have to double check I'm sure I had an eight speed let me count one two three four five six seven eight nine what do you know I have a nine speed ha ah, sorry um so yeah the uh and so that requires a long derailleur um with the three chain rings on the front it works flawlessly it if the um alignment gets a little bit out in the gearing you just shimmy the um and bar shifters up there and it takes care of itself so honestly the m-bar shifting and the you know they're not expensive components but they're hard wearing and they served us well so for the money this is my workhorse bike it's my commuting bike and when i park it somewhere i don't have to worry that you know it's a really high-end bike and so it's gonna you know aim to steal it. it's not a cheap bike either um i'll put a link below so you can see the argus 2.0 is uh, the version i think you can get both still now but really good value for money and it's perfect for a touring bike and I really enjoyed every minute on it. I'm most comfortable on it. Um, I did change out this um, stem to a shorter one and to a more upright, slightly more upright even, because I prefer to be upright long distance. So it's quite short and my handlebars are, are turned quite upright and that's just my preference. So it's, it's what makes me comfortable and confident and for commuting, it's also very nice for me to be quite upright. So I love that. And just little other extras. I have my light, of course, and my this is my Nog Bell. So there we go. That is my bike. Hope you learned something from that. And if you're looking for a touring bike, I hope it helps you um, make your decision and find the right bike for you. There's so many bikes out there that actually are great, you know, for the job. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to actually be technically a touring bike. This one isn't. Um, and so, yeah, we were very happy with them. Nathan commutes on his. I commute on mine. And it's a great company. It's a um, small Canadian company, and they're really great. I email them sometimes when I replace my bottom uh, bracket. I was upgrading to uh, stainless steel uh, bearings and I had some questions for them and they were very quick and they gave me good concise clear answers and so that was great and when I was buying the bike um, I had questions for them and they were again very very quick at responding and very very good so highly recommend the Brodies um, they have many different kinds of bikes their background is, is originally in mountain biking I believe so yeah highly recommend the bike and if you have any questions do let me know if you like the video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video